Problems are piling up for electric car manufacturer Tesla. A recall of more than 100,000 Model S sedans and a deadly crash involving the new Model X in the Bay Area. KPIX 5's Katie Nielsen explains that the company is now facing criticism about how it's handling the fatal crash investigation. The NTSB released a statement just yesterday saying it's unhappy with Tesla for releasing information about the investigation. This is what's left of a new Model X Tesla after it crashed into a freeway barrier on Highway 101. It happened on March 23rd while the car was in autopilot mode, killing the driver, 38-year-old Walter Wang. Tesla released a statement saying no action had been taken by the driver who had a five-second view of the concrete divider. The driver had received several visual and one audible hands-on warning earlier in the drive and that the driver's hands were not detected on the wheel for six seconds prior to the collision. Just yesterday, the NTSB, who was investigating that crash, responded with its own statement, saying, Tesla has been extremely cooperative on assisting with vehicle data. However, the NTSB is unhappy with the release of investigative information by Tesla. Wing's family says he'd complained to the company about the car veering toward the freeway barrier in the past while on autopilot mode. Tesla says they don't have any records of that complaint and say Wang only brought up issues with the navigation system. Tech analysts say it could indicate bigger problems within the company. Their credit has just been downgraded by Moody's. Their stock price is falling. They've had a fatal uh, automobile right. accident. So all of these things are combining to give uh, Tesla a real black eye right now. Another issue, Tesla is recalling 123,000 Model S sedans made before April 2016 for potential problems with the power steering bolts. I actually don't think it's that big of a deal. What is a big deal is that this comes on the heels of so many other things that Tesla has been facing. Today, Tesla's stock price dropped to the lowest it's been in almost a year. In Fremont, Katie Nielsen, KPIX 5.